So yes, we have various tests for beverage like beverage has name, has type and minor kind by alcoholic beverage. But what about the user flow? If user go to the beverage page and how he can deal with that. So it's like we are not touching a single functionality. We are just touching the flow or it's the it's like what is the feature of your project. So I think you guessed it right. We need to go to the feature test and uh, we are doing lots of things here. So let's just delete this and I will rename it to uh, let's say beverage test and because let's just rename it uh, yes we have two beverage tests but you know these two are inside their respective folders so we don't have to worry about so first thing first because we are going to deal with the database so let's use database migration and let's create a test and this test is going to be like a user can visit a beverage page and uh, see beverages good that's good but how we will go and test it so it's going to be very easy first thing user will go to a URL okay then we assert status if the status is 200 that's good so let's work on this because we want to go to the URL so it's like uh, this arrow get and we want to go to beverage and that's it but let's catch this on response and for the assert part we just want response assert a status and a status has to be 200 good to go so clean up these things and let's run this test hmm and obviously it fails why because we don't have this route so go to web.php file and now I will create a new route route of let's say use resource route and that will be beverage uh, like this and obviously we want beverage controller so now let's again run the test and this time it says it received 500 hmm yeah 500 means we have some problem in our code that means there is something we can't see so actually the level is hiding these things and it is just doing just for you but we can for the testing we can show exact error so now if you go to app exceptions and now handle.php inside this handle.php you need to go to report function and you just have to say if app environment is equal to testing if this is true then throw whatever is the exception okay so let's close this file run the test again and this time we are getting too much of things and now it exactly saying hello you don't have beverage controller so this is cool thing so this means the test is now telling us what to do we are just putting the logic here so let's create that so php and make controller and beverage controller and this is too good so let's do it run the test again and we should get another error which is like uh, beverage controller index does not exist super cool thing yeah beverage controller we don't have any function name index so function name index so let's just go refresh this page hmm it passes but we know it just passes because it got everything you need and received the status of 200 but what if I return a view called beverage dot index and yeah like this run the test and this time again it's saying hello you don't have beverage dot index view so why not create that and it, this is cool because everything is now uh, explained by our test so beverage 
and inside this we need to create a file that will be index.blade.php good to go let's go refresh and rerun the test and it passes super cool thing but it just passes and we know our index.blade is empty so let's extend it so let's extend layouts.app and we know we need some section and section is content and here we are going to show the beverage name so actually here we want to get all the beverages so it's like beverage and uh, beverages is equal to beverage colon colon and I think we need to add it at the top yeah and all yeah this is just getting everything and let's use compact method to pass beverages good to go and now if I run the test let's see the result still it continue and not getting any error so let's see one more assertion so asserting that on the response we are going to assert to see and what we are going to see beverage name so where this beverage came from obviously we need to create that so beverage is equal to beverage and I think we need to use the factory not this one so factory for beverage colon colon class and let's just make one for me that's good so this this beverage we have created and we want that beverage name to be shown on this index dot plate so why not create a for each loop so for each uh, for each like this and this is beverages as beverage and here in h1 tag let's say curly braces and beverage arrow name this is good and uh, this is for my vs code it just as as soon as i save it formatted like these things so i don't like this but anyways so let's run the test and see what will be the result hmm it fails it fails and it's saying that i fail to assert that all this html all this html doesn't contain this autm which is actually the beverage name which is created by factory and it's not getting that Mm, the reason is not there because we are doing everything we are showing beverage name we are passing beverage from here using the for each loop so what happened here you know the problem is this with make we want to have the beverage come from this index function and this is getting the beverage from the database and yeah it's a test all the database is in memory but what this make will do it just make for you for the temporary basis it's not going to put these things on the database which is in memory obviously so what else we can do we can have one more thing which is called create and what this will do this will actually create it give the instance to you as well as it will also save that to database and obviously the memory database the test database so this means if i now run the test yeah it passes so this is the way you can control the flow and you can just put the logic on your uh, test and test will tell you what to do and this is called tdd and test driven development so in the next episode we will see what if a user go and visit a single beverage because here we are getting lots of beverages on our index.blade you can see but what if user visit single beverage page and then after how user can buy it so if you have not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the instant notification share these video with your friends and don't forget to like bit fumes on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye